everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys how to get this beautiful glam full makeup tutorial. Yes, yes. If you're not new to my channel, you're probably like, oh my God, woo, she finally did some makeup. I have not been doing makeup for quite a while because of some skin issues I had, but that is over the New Year's here. And I decided to go full glam mm, you know what I mean just like all all up in I was out here and instead of tipping my toes in I just said it eh, into the water so I hope you guys like this tutorial if you're interested in how I got this look and what I use then go ahead stick around and keep watching so I think first things first I'm gonna go in with the eyes and then I'm going to do my face um I am doing full glam today so I'm probably gonna do all of it on camera so the first thing we're gonna go into is going to be it is the master eye prep and set by makeup by Mario this is actually like my top favorite eye primer honestly it's amazing I'm just getting pretty low on the one side I think I'm gonna use the lighter side today it's just nice and like thick and creamy. I like to go in and set it with the powder portion of the palette right here. It's a really, really nice powder and it gives it like a really, really nice set. So I think I am going to go in with the KKW and Winnie palette. I haven't actually used this one. I've only actually swatched it. I was between the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Divine Neutrals and then the KKW Beauty Camo palette. So I did go with this one just because it does have a lot of neutrals. I'm going to wind up staying like right here in this lane because I'm just doing like a very glam, a neutral glam makeup look. So it's going to be like that taupey brownie tone. So I'm going to be going right in with this light color first, which I believe leave is I want to say kin to scoot Tinskugi? I don't know. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna place it right at the crease and kind of just buff it out just lightly building the color. I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit closer to my crease than super super high. So now I'm going to go into this darker brown right here and I'm going to place that basically directly into my crease and on the outer corner focusing it there but bringing it over just a little bit because again I'm going to be doing that half cut crease. So I'm going to start with kind of like a pointy brush just to place it and then go in with blending it out. I really want to focus on placing that color so when it comes time it's not too dark and I didn't mess it up like if you go too dark you know what I mean if you don't put enough you can kind of come back from that if you put too much it's like well I'm kind of just here so you can build you cannot take away so I'm gonna go back into that darker brown color just lightly and I'm gonna go on this lighter fluffy brush and first before I dip into the color I'm going to basically blend this out so buff it out just a little bit to give it more of a blur look And then once I have it blurred out, I'm actually going to go in and I am going to add a little bit more of that dark color. And then we will also be going in to add a little bit more of the taupe color just to really give it that nice, beautiful blend. Right, so I am going to go back into that taupier brown with a clean brush and I'm just going to buff that out right on the edge of where that dark color I just placed is and like even on the outer side right here just because it gives it more of a blended look so I will be going in with my P. Louise base to cut my crease I'm literally going to do a half cut crease that's why I kind of put really nothing there I'm going to go from here all the way to right about the end of my pupil. What I like to do is I put it at the base of my lashes and I look up and I look around. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. And it basically, what I do, why I do that is because when I open my eyes, I have hooded eyes. So when I open my eyes, it's going to touch there anyways. So I put some here on the base right where my lashes are and look up 
just so I know where to get because if you don't it's gonna touch there anyways if you have hooded eyes if you don't if you have glorious luxurious eyes you don't have to worry about that but if you do have to go over your crease just a bit then that's something I do highly recommend so you know where it's going to touch and then you can just draw it from there so it just makes it a lot easier it makes the process a lot easier so I had to go get a different makeup product because honestly in those three palettes that I have sitting here to kind of help me pick out what I'm doing I didn't find a single color shimmer that was really what I was looking for or in the pigment that I was looking for so I went and got this guy I haven't used this in forever so I'm kind of excited this is the Tarte chrome paint these came out a couple years ago they're absolutely gorgeous and I really don't grab for them so I'm kind of glad that I did this one is in top yacht and this is the color so I was kind of looking for that like gold yellow gold but not too gold like a champagne color so I am going to take a flat brush and just pack it on there so I can wipe it right across where I put that uh, P. Louise base So now I'm going to go back into that dark brown and I'm going to apply it to my outer crease again very lightly and blend it right over that line that I placed the glitter. So I'm going to blend right in between here. So you're going to blend it right over that glitter line so that it blends and it doesn't look as sharp. It's going to look a little bit more like it's kind of fading into it rather than just being a straight line. So we are going to move on to the face because I cannot do my under eyes without my face being done. So the first thing I'm going into for my face is going to be the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is my favorite. It has been my favorite for a very long time. I love how it feels. I love the cooling effect that it gives and the hydrating. And I also just love how tacky it makes my face feel. So my makeup really sticks to it for a while and not just like a couple hours and then it just starts to kind of melt off. So for foundation, we're going to be going with the Lancome Ultra Wear Tint Adore Ultra Wear 24 Hour Foundation. <laughs> this is in the shade 420. That was so much to even say. Like, I don't know why. I don't know what just happened. So I'm going to go in with a flat brush and I like to just place my foundation and then go from there blending it and then using the beauty blender to smooth everything out. So now I'm just going to add another pump or two, nothing crazy, and go over it with a beauty sponge just to blend it out and make it look really, really smooth and really, really beautiful. I'm just excited to finally be doing a makeup video. I haven't done like makeup makeup in a while because my skin... For my dermatologist, I was to give it a break. So here we are. Back at it, folks. The next thing I'm going to be using is my Kylie Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Ivory. I really, really love this concealer. I have for a while. I bought quite a few when she first closed out or was closing out. So I'm excited to be using this. It does give me that beautiful full coverage that I like on my under eye. I don't have to hurry the process if that makes sense like I can place it on my face all over and take the time to blend it out before it all dries and gets unblendable some freaking concealers I deal with uh, have a tendency to um, dry up so I only I can only do one portion of my face at a time. And now I'm going in with my Dragon Beauty Transformation Powder. I do like to use a little bit of both. What I do is kind of mix them together, the yellow one and the pink one, and then put that on my under eye and whatnot to set my face. I like to use them both. Sometimes I'll use the yellow a little bit more then I will use both but I really 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 like to use both of them just because I can go kind of a little yellow, kind of neutral, so both of them really work well when I mix them together. I do definitely find that I put a little bit more yellow on there than the pink 
but I like that the pink kind of balances everything out. So now I'm going in with the KKW Beauty Contour Sticks and I'm gonna go in with the Medium 2 just to give my face just a little bit more definition than usual. Um, I usually just use bronzer because that's just my, my go-to. But being it's full glam, I wanna kinda do more of that full glam step or aspect. For bronzer, I'm going to be going in with the Lunar Beauty Outer Dimension Palette. I'm going to be using the shade Tan Sky as my bronzer just to powder it up just a little bit and give it that beautiful, beautiful bronzy look. And this is like one of my favorite bronzing palettes currently. A little goes a long way. Okay, so for my blush and my highlighter, I'm going to be using the Jouer Cosmetics Champagne and Macaroons. Macaroons. This is the Cheeky Crush Face Palette. I'm going to be using the light pink Charm Me, and then I'm also going to be using Skinny Dip as a highlighter. And I'm just going to place the Charm Me, which is that light pink, right on the apples of my cheek and a little bit above. I absolutely love a lot of blush. I mean, I like this palette, but I feel like it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. I have another blush palette from them and it's a little bit more pigmented. This one kind of, bleh. All right, so I'm gonna put the highlighter on now and I'm just gonna put it, you know, where I would normally put highlighter. And this palette was pretty pricey if I'm not mistaken. The highlighter is actually not bad. It's a very beautiful color. I thought it was going to be darker, so I was a little bit worried that it'd be too dark as a highlighter for me, but it's actually, like, really stunning. So we're going to go back into the eyes. I'm going to go in with this dark color right here, and I'm going to basically line my waterline, and then I'm going to take this lighter color right here, and I'm going to go ahead and buff that out just to give it, like, a nice smooth look, but also keep that sultry bottom color. I just like to keep, when I'm doing, like, a full glam smoky look, I like to keep that sultry under eye. So basically I kept it as much as I could or as close as I could to that lash line, almost like liner, if you will. So I am just real quick before I blend that out with that taupe, gonna go in with a brown liner and line my waterline just to kind of complete that brown smoky look. And this is the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick. It's just brown. I didn't even know I had it to be honest, but I got a crap ton of liners from Ulta like right before Christmas. So I'm literally gonna go in with that same brush that had the taupe color on it and I'm literally just gonna give it like a little smudge, nothing crazy, just to give it a nice beautiful blended look. And so I don't look like too, too dark under the eye. It just kind of really softens that bottom part. See how this looks like way more like, and this is kind of like soft. That's what it does. I'm gonna hop off camera, throw on some lashes, and then I'll be right back. And then we're gonna do my lips, and then we're basically done. All right, so we're going in with our lips. Our lip, lip, lip. Is. So this is the Mega Matte Goosebumps by Morphe. That is the brown that I chose to go into today. And I'm going to be lining my lips with the ColourPop BFF3 Brown Liner. It is one of my favorite. It so goes on so smooth. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then I'm going to be using the lipstick. I basically, what I did was I filled in almost completely with that lip liner and I'm just gonna run over it with the brown Morphe lipstick just to finish it off and give it such a beautiful brown color look. I know that we're like, we're still in winter, but I really wanna be in the fall. So that's why I picked the brown. So it is what it is, it's beautiful. And when I do matte or when I do full glam, I rarely pick a lip gloss. I just don't feel like it feels very full glam. It kind of feels like, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't. It's not my vibe. <laughs> and then we're going to finish it off, as always, with setting spray. Oh, my God. 
turn out really good actually. So that's it. We are full glam from our neck up because like the rest of us is like t-shirts and jammies but like I mean even my messy hair kind of looks good with it. Gosh I'm so excited. I haven't done makeup in like so long. Like legitimately full glam in my face makeup. So this makes me feel so freaking beautiful it's not even funny so i hope you guys really liked this video this is it this is my go-to if i'm going somewhere full glam easy peasy it's i know it doesn't seem easy peasy but it really is it's just like a few step technique when it comes to the eyes but i do kind of switch up the colors when i do my full glam but for the most part this is kind of just like the steps like you'll see this but like different shades of this or different variations of this but brown lipstick is one of my go-to for glam looks um sometimes black it just depends on what the event is or the vibe is or the situation going on so i hope you really like this and enjoyed my glam tutorial glam makeup look whatever it is but I hope you really did enjoy it I haven't done makeup in quite a while on here because of my skin but now that my skin is doing good I wanted to hop on and give you guys a beautiful tutorial and full glam I wanted to go full all the way in but again I hope you guys liked it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my beauty videos that I upload every week and as always guys I love you and I'll see you on the next one bye